Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, technical difficulties. Besides, uh, we will restart our meeting um, at 1613. We can apologize for the technical difficulties um, that we had before. Um, so then we'll call the meeting of the um, we'll call the meeting order 1613 of the special board selection meeting on our uh, budget. Um, We'll go to any public comment on the agenda items, which is the budget itself and the background on the budget and criteria for salary. So we'll be more specific for that. So anyone have anything to say? Okay. All right, hearing done. We'll go back to... Okay, well, we'll move on to our discussion of Don has her hand up. Sorry. Yeah, I'm Donna. sorry. I'm coming up into the party a little bit late. Is there any way that you could be a little bit more specific on the agenda besides just saying budget? Like, are you going to be talking about specific departments? Are the specific departments going to be invited for discussion? Just so that if, you know, if you're not going to be talking about us, then, then we don't have to be here. <laughs> Correct. I, just, I guess you came in. I just said that. I just said well, we're specific to the budget. We're going to talk about criteria. We're looking at salaries and entertaining any discussion on criteria we might, may want to apply towards uh, salary increases in the budget. If we can come up to any uh, specific conclusion on how we would treat um, salary requests. Okay. okay. And so then. Exactly. Yeah. When are you going to be doing the, like the specific departments, or are you not going to be doing that? We will be, but we wanted to get our criteria first, and we, we and we didn't want to skip that part. We wanted to do the criteria, have that discussion, send that back to everybody in the departments, and then if they needed an adjustment on a budget or they wanted to change it, you know, that criteria, have a chance to reemphasize why they might be asking for an increase or to, you know, have anything else to say about their budget, they had a chance to before we actually sat with them and discussed the budget itself. Okay. All right, great. Thank you so much. Sure enough, John. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. All right. We'll get back to, uh, again, the discussion tonight really is going to uh, revolve around our discussion on what kind of criteria we want to apply and, have, and, and how we actually look at the budget. Um, I did a lot of looking at researching at different municipalities, states, federal government uh, budget uh, times. We also did private public budgets, and it's, it's quite a difference. There's a lot of criteria that goes into effect. Obviously, if you're in a union and you have a specific contract, there's stuff that's negotiated um, for, for raises and so on. Um, we have not done that in this town except for our public works department, which is a union uh, group. Um, there's really kind of four criteria that I found, generally speaking, that, that everyone talks about including uh, recruiters and so on, and that is um, the actual job performance and uh, you know going above and beyond, expanding your job performance, ex expanding your job, finding new things to do in your the position you're you know you've been hired to do, and that may be within your job description itself. Secondly, is longevity, which is always a big one, um, concerning how long you've been in the job itself, how experienced you are, how much training you've had, um, uh, you know th that kind of thing that always comes with more experience. Another one is you know, the differences between elected and um, and appointed and, and hired, if you want to be appointed and hired uh, kind of together. But those are their areas which um, are more specific to, um, you know, those people that feel that, okay, you're, you're hired into a position, or excuse me, you're elected into a position with a budget attached to it. You know what that is. You know, maybe there isn't an issue for getting a, a, raise, a raise the first year you're elected. But along with that comes the longevity issue because we do have that in our town where people have been elected numerous times and for great uh, and, and to great benefit of the town and ought to be considered. And then the fourth one is the one that I kind of looked at back and forth, and that really is how do you compare yourself? Do you compare it within your town itself to other personnel? Uh, that with you know, years in a, in a different position, you look at it, uh, those within your area that have the same job description as you do, based on the, the you know, for here would be the size of the municipality, uh, the town itself, uh, you know, how much work you put, you know, how many hours you put in and so on. And, or is it something that uh, is, is entirely different? It's uh, an arbitrary decision that's made on that. But mostly it seems to come down to looking at comparison for apples to apples and not apples to oranges or, or something else. So uh, that's the 
that's what we're going to have that discussion today and, and see if we can come to, to some kind of a generalized agreement or at least an outline for some criteria. So that's uh, that was what I kind of dug up. <clears throat> Anybody else want to add anything? I mean, to yeah, I mean, I think one option for for this for the elected people is you're elected at that salary mm -hmm. and then get it for your term of office. Um, I, it's interesting, the idea of doing something on longevity is interesting. Um, some kind of a formula. That would be that interesting. Would be one. interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, I also think um, that I, I just toyed around with what are the other things that would be, um, would, would cause us to want to change somebody's salary. And obviously it'd be a change in duties. Mm -hmm. And um, years ago, the selectmen tried to institute a policy where the job descriptions would be reviewed every other year in like the fall in September. So it would be great to do that because then you would already know that somebody's job description, job duties had changed. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the salary should change as well for people who are hired outside. Or, I mean, even, yeah, even if an elected official's job changes. Um, um, the other thing is, I think we need to hear more in the narrative from somebody of if they are, one, if there's a change in job duties, two, if there's um, duties that are changing within the department, like, is there a way that the department head could divest of some of the duties to an assistant? Mm -hmm. You know, is that an option? It's if it's not an option, I think they should explain why. Um, and then if there's changes in state law that are impacting the department, like the register of voters, I think that has to be explained to us as well. Um, and then the other thing is, I think that we need to encourage the departments to really give us data. Like, what are you know? What are the changes that are pointing to increased work hours? You know what? You know the, the social services director tried to do a little bit of that, but she could do a lot more in terms of giving us more data points. So why is it different? Um, and I, like you said, you know, data from of salaries from commensurate towns, which is hard. I understand it's hard because every. None of our positions line up perfectly with another town, but you could pick three or four towns of about the same size and same duties to give us some ideas. Right, and, and I, I agree. Elaine, you had some excellent points there. And, and, and doing those similar duties and lining up again with longevity and, and so on, uh, that's that's also part of that. So having a real clean criteria is really, to my mind, is really difficult. I, don't know. I mean, just, you know, having gone through two budget cycles yeah. in this in this position, um, you know, we've been wrestling with all of these issues. I mean, this is this is nothing new. Um, the biggest thing was was cola. You know, um, people brought up cola the last two years, which has been uh, which has been high. I mean, uh, inflation was high, uh, and the last board of selectmen we uh, we we agreed to four percent last two years across the board, uh, and um, and one of the things I brought up was that the previous to that board of selectmen um, in 2018, uh, again, an outside consultant, uh, Randy Frank Consulting, um, had uh, hired a consultant, Lee Palmer, came in and, um, and looked at, at, at everything in the town hall, uh, looked at the salaries, looked at job descriptions, looked at other towns and uh, delivered a report. Um, and some salaries were adjusted that year. Um, and I know I've said this before, um, that, um, that for me, there's so many variables sitting here in this position. I mean, I, I like the across the board, whatever we decide. Um, if, if we do change some salaries more than others, uh, it's got to be clear. It's got to be either an outside consultant or it's got to be a CCM report or it's got to be, it's got to be crystal clear to us. And I, and I, I don't know to what detail we want uh, for that, but it's 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 got to be it's got to be big, and we didn't do that last time. We went across the, board. Um, uh, you know, we didn't want to step on toes and, and make, make people angry. But I remember asking people about this report, and not everyone even agreed with the report. <laughs> so 
you know, and I wasn't around, you know, so maybe it wasn't perfect, but people couldn't even agree on that. So for that reason, I'm, 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 you know, it, it's going to take a lot to get me to, to think about increasing a department salary, salary more mm -hmm. than others. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. No, no it does. It does. It does. I mean, yeah, exactly. You, um, if you look, you know, just again, we can look at everybody else's view of it. Uh, the federal government uh, had 4% and I believe a 5.2% or they had 3% excuse me, 4, 5.2% for this year. That was mandated by the president uh, in, in their budget. So that's what they're going to. But if you look at that, that's 8.2. But before that, they even had, they had less, maybe 1.7, 1.9%. So if you look at it and amortize across many years, Kind of approaches around three, a little over three percent, generally across the board. I know that just my experience with the school board. That's kind of we looked at that. And of course, we were looking between some of the full-time employees at the school to the to the town hall and trying to keep some kind of a parity we could but between the municipal. There's still municipal employees, um, and I don't know what the budget is from the school yet, so I haven't seen any of that yet. I can see leaks yet, um, but um, so I'm just, you're meeting next week. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I, was hoping that I might hear a little bit of something from them. But anyway, um, but I, I hear what you're saying, and, and I, I like that. I, um, I think you know part of that is I look, I do look at the longevity because we mm -hmm. do have some very very sharp people here in town who, who give yes. us a lot and, and continue to us a lot, and that helps out. Um, but I agree with you, Lynn, on the the explanation of, of extra duties, what else you've taken on, what other things have come from the state, and so on. I think we we need a little bit more of that than. You know, I, I know that, you know, the town has been fairly settled. I mean, numbers wise, if we've gone up and down a little bit over the COVID, but we're, we're kind of settling out now. So handling or dealing with more people, that's probably been everybody's responsibility or, or response anyway. Uh, I don't know any one group that's suffered more or, or, or has done more uh, with that. Um, you know, I think for the assessor with the rebound, all I can tell certainly does deals with a lot more people that have come into town. Um, and so there's a tax collector, you know, it changes or not changes there, but doing more with abatement, there's, there's a little bit more they have to do there. But that's kind of like every job. You always have a little bit more you have to do and, and a little and, and some other things because you know how to do it. You can handle that a little bit differently. Um, I do also with their going online mm -hmm. with some things like the land use. Right. I one of my questions to them was going to be, are you seeing a decrease in the office visits because mm -hmm. you're online now? And I would think the tax collector also would. Yeah. I know she's been online for a number of years. Right. So. She has been. Yeah. And, and there's still, I mean, she's still offering people come in with credit cards out of the office. But those are good questions to ask. And so um, maybe the uh, the only way to look at this, the way to deal with it is with our baseline, which I, I like the 3%. Um, and again, if we really want to look at it, the individuals, what have you, you know, what has your office done? What changes have you had? to get a chance to meet with them and say, okay, now tell us, we need to be educated as well. And we really need the talent to understand so that we can tell the talent. Do you know how much more to, you know, this can this done? We understand, you have know, register. I mean, uh, if you read the paper today, but I- I did, you made yeah, it from paper. I know, I did not. <laughs> but I was waiting for someone to ask the governor that question, and it had been on our, our mind, but, um, but you know, we're gonna be re, you know, responsible for more, and so are more, more people there on the registrars. I know if they're working, working away and putting in hours and more, but getting ready for the, primary and getting next year. And this year we did get a 10 5 grant, but there's, you know, because her answer back was, was again, we're kind of on our own. That's really what it was. We, we feel for you, but you're on your own right now. As far as we know, looking at today's legislative meeting, there was no, no nothing put forward by the governor um, to look at that money. And I think his answer was that he's not planning on putting anything more forward to see the legislature either. But um, anyway, but that, you know, what's that? It's wrong. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah you, you, because really, and we've looked at that, just the number of, of what it's going to cost to bring people in for 14 days of early voting in this next budget year is significant. So um, we can make this longer, or we can say 3%, and then let's talk to each individual office and see if there's something more. And at that point, we do, I, don't, I don't have an answer to say how, you know, how we can actually look at more for one group or another. I think we really need to hear more on their, uh, their description and our discussions with them to see if there's something more. But again, I don't but what about what are you thinking about with performance? I know that Kent has not done evaluations, right. but then you said we don't do them. But yeah. there's no reason why we couldn't do them. Yeah, because that was the other part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be except it's challenging. It is. It is. It is. Um, 
It is, okay. and um, that, but that's not a, that's not a bad thing necessarily, it, because it gives you your you, you set your zone for the year. This is what I hope to accomplish, I mean, I lived that in the military. We had to have them every six months, and civilian the same way, and we had to be able to evaluate each other. It was three sixty. It was also part and parcel of her promotions, and, and, and you know we we generally got a one point seven percent raise or something, but it was something that was tied to performance and then towards where you could rise in position. Now we don't have step raises either which is something else we could look at, even with an elected, if it's longevity over time, you know, if so many times you've been elected, so many years you've spent, that could be a percentage raise or something of that nature. That is one potential thing to look at. Um, but I don't think we can, I don't think we have the time to do it this year. I we, think don't have the time. we don't We don't have the time to do that, to give everybody a fair shade. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm almost thinking at this point, then we, we have that discussion with people, but we, we look at really, um, both an evaluation and a potential step for for you know, longevity performance uh, as well, maybe in, in that range. That would I think we could look at that and, and uh, have that in play for for next year. And I think it's something that could stay. Sorry. We we could do what years ago. I can't remember how long ago, but there was a time when the select one made a, agreed to have a pot of money. And it might have been that year when it was 2018, when they had a pot of money and they said, we can't deal with this right now, but we're going to, we're going to deal with this after the budget and we will entertain proposals from the different, um, but, yeah. you know. So not on the performance of bubbles, because that, that's really difficult in this model to be able to get bonuses or mid-year raises, but, but um, oh, well, not, I should say it's not impossible for mid-year raises. There's groups that have done that, but maybe that's the way to look at it. Yes, have the criteria how we did that. So, um, yeah, and then you know, then you hear what the average salary is across the state versus you know, I I, I look at our local uh, neighbors here. So I was pouring over Sharon's budget for the last year, uh, Cornwall, uh, Warren, Washington. You know, and in terms of population, mill rates, you know, that very it's still, it's not apples to apples. I mean, salaries are, are, are different. Uh, they're quite different. So, so even, even looking at, at neighbor towns, um, it's, it's hard to make, to make a judgment uh, on just, on just the salary there. And of course, you know, the job description makes something different and, uh, but, but how do we make it equitable is, 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 is a hard question. Uh, so I'd say that. Yeah. Um, How do we think about the three percent? I mean, what do we think about that? This town has done two percent, right? We did four oh, percent, yeah. and everywhere between, and everything in between. So, um, how do we? I bet if you look back, the majority of years it's been three percent. The majority has been three. Yeah, majority has been three. Majority. So, uh, so cola being about three point one, I think that's a good starting spot. I, I mean, do. if cola were higher, I would say, yeah, you made yeah. me think about it, um, and <coughs> I think it's a good starting point. Um, I kind of like that idea of the pot of money, though. It, it, <laughs> I, well, you know, I don't know how much we could move on, but I do like the idea of trying to make an adjustment if we, as we work into looking at, you know, uh, getting people to set goals for the year yeah. and looking at things like yeah. that and then and then responding to that. I, I, you know, I think that's something we could in, implement and sustain it. That's the big thing is it's sustained, yeah. right? right? We don't want to do it and it lasts for our two years and then something happens the next two years or something else. But um, I know one thing we did have a while ago was nobody had job descriptions, really. And so we've looked at some. Some job descriptions are a little bit looser. Some need to be tightened up. Some need to be added to because they've expanded. And uh, again, I know we're doing the emergency director, we're doing the um, cemetery one. You know, we've taken some time actually to look at, at the specifics um, as much as we can anyway. Um, and that's something I think we continue to do. But with that, performance um, objectives that people would write down and see this is what we're looking to do. Here's how we're looking to improve. Here's how you know we want to want to change things and we and or adjust things, whatever, based on their own experiences. And that's part of the longevity piece. They should be able to, I mean, I think most of them have experiences and say, I'd like to people to know we're doing it this way. And I think partly was um, what Lane used to going online with permits was was a good deal. I mean I think it's natural that it was going that direction. But the advertisement and, the, and letting people know what's going on and working that was good. That's kind of a, of a good thing to see. Uh, but I don't, I don't think we've had that yet, where we've said, 
give us your jam performance, give us your, your objectives for the year, what you want to do, which is partly what uh, what I'm used to doing. Um, yeah, you know, I don't think that's happening for a no, really long, long, long time because I talked to the previous yeah. first select one. Mm -hmm. And I think the last time that happened was with Lori Schiesel was the office. <laughs> I'd like to know, I don't think I've ever asked this question, uh, but what other towns in our neighborhood here have job performance? What other towns no, have still does. So I would like I would like to just ask how other towns like, like like which town has the smoothest way of dealing with salaries? The question you also have to ask though is which which towns have unions? And which towns like have unions? Lichfield has yes. Lichfield has a lot of unions. Yeah, they do. There's four different and unions. So they tie the job evaluation yeah. to the union to the contracts. And no, that's true. I was talking to Denise yesterday yeah. about this the yeah. very thing at uh, the Cosby. And she said she has a union, so it's Early laid out for her. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, pretty much set up. She's four unions so yeah. long. They have to, you know. I mean, it's it's you know it's it's good in some ways, yeah. bad in others. Yeah. But um, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I think towns like uh, Sherman, uh, Washington, those are similar to us in terms of the population size, and I guess they're probably pretty similar budget wise too. Really so, yeah. Yeah. I was talking to Don Lowe yesterday also uh, from Sherman, and, and he was saying that I think he has a union. I think he has a union in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, getting confused now. Who else was there? We had Morris there, we were talking with uh, yeah, Ocean, and we all had just a quick discussion on that. Um, but yeah, um, he does. They have a, a little 4,000, almost 5,000, I think, down in Sherman. Total numbers yeah. with that, and they're including he's including like the weekenders, they have a lot more weekenders on the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do that. So I don't know how many are full time. He didn't, he wish, you know, I probably said this to you already, but I really wish we knew how many weekend residents we had. Yeah, it's like because that new data point would be exactly. so interesting exactly. to know. They're they don't find themselves full residents here, but they exist. <laughs> well, I think it's a good idea. We didn't look at the assessments, but uh, what we can get on that. So she's got a lot of data. I mean, I know, I know Salisbury, they talk about how much bigger their population is. They actually have the data. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> we have to agree on those, too. Kind of late, but yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, let's see what we want to do right now. I'll stay with our cola. Would you be interested in, in trying to put some money away for uh, talk to uh, Barbara about what we're looking at? We just have to pick a number. Yeah, pick <laughs> yeah. that range. And then, um, yeah. And then see if we can actually. She might remember what was done before. Yeah, I can't remember how much it was. So we're thinking with starting with three, yeah. and we're still going to have people talk. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, yeah, and, and again, that would be explain themselves to us. Yeah. And then again, as we go in, in that way, I'll, I'll pull together some of the data on, on how we can do evaluation, how people, how we can ask them to fill out a uh, self yeah self evaluation and, and a, and a um, say charge what they're planning on doing for the year. You know, kind of thing as well. Something that's, that's standard to fill out, but we can ask you know. Ask some questions about what they're planning on doing, how they would change, and things like that. Looking at, at what their job entails and what they see as changes down the line, too, that's important because anytime we have families in business, there's always going to be changes. Um, but um, yeah, we can do that, pull that together, and then um, yeah, we meet with them, go from there, and then build for if we're going to take a, a monetary amount out of that pot and, and then award a, you know, a change. Based on again experience, based on I think experience is important. I think we all mm -hmm. agree with that. You know, we all we all benefit from people who are imaginative enough to understand a lot and, and make you know make the phone calls to whoever directly without you know. I mean, you know, experience is important. And of course, we don't want to deny those new people coming in. You know, you are the right guy and all that stuff. But but we'll uh, you know we'll be looking at I'm sure a lot of stuff with that as well. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's not bad. So we have these three. Is there a number of pot of money over there? Right now. 
Yeah, specifically in finding how I put that. I'm thinking $10,000. 10, I don't know if that's too yeah. much, but too much I don't know. I mean, when you. Well, this would go in the criteria, would be, it would go against the salary baseline. So it would actually it would increase the salary as well, right? For, I mean, well, you're, everybody's going to get the 3%. Correct. Right? Correct. So it would be on top of that. On top of that, exactly. So the, so the ten thousand would what would we do with this then? Yeah. We would be like thinking about the longevity piece and and the job changes and the performance objectives, that kind of thing. So it wouldn't happen right away. No, no, it would be probably you know towards the summer, October, you know, in that you know, part of the year. Of the, of the fiscal year. Yeah. I see. Okay. So it wouldn't be immediate. No, it would not be immediate assignment of or, you know, of, of redistribution of an update at that point. I'm thinking a little bit more, maybe 15. So just to have that on, on the side. We don't have to use it all for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we, we do have a few. So based on what people have asked. Dean? Did, did you do any calculation? <laughs> uh, well, just look, 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 looking at, at, at a few. At, some of these numbers here, yeah, you know, I mean, more, we got obviously the key. There's going to be more number increases, more yeah, more. So there more. may be people that haven't asked it. Yes. Yeah. Is there so a, just looking, yeah. Yeah. looking at what's been asked so far, 15. So above the 3%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There, there's going to be, obviously, the registrar works. It's going to have to be its own. Yeah, that's a number of guys. We have to work it's exactly. out of their control. And so we get some other kind of, uh, no, I understand that. We're back for the state department. But everyone else, I think, is. Because this point, we could, you know, I guess we could actually look at those that may not have asked for. Did Barbara on this call? Or? She wasn't. She's up. She's looking up Siri. Are you doing something? Because she's in the past has talked about, you know, how much a 3% how much 3% yeah. is for the part and how much of that. Let me see if I can find her. Mm -hmm. I, just, I can get It doesn't have to be, we don't have to have that for this. Right, this I can get the next can, one. Yeah, I can get her to, to add that in. Maybe this is also this week, tonight. If you call it. So whether this is 10,000 or 15, where does that live here? It would probably have to be in our budget. Right, it would be in the like board's like 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 discretionary. Right, discretionary, is that what it is? Yeah. Or it could be in contingency. It's I think I remember time. last time. You did get a contingency, yeah. Yeah. Because if we put it in contingency, then it could be used for something else if we decide. Yeah, exactly. We're we only going to spend eight. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And where is contingency? What lines is it? Yeah, it's back. Yeah, it's yeah. I just want to point out that right 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 here. Here. contingency has a specific purpose and it's not to be used as like a holding account for additional appropriations that you may want to yes. facilitate during the year. So okay. if I understood what you were just talking about correctly, contingency would not be a place that you could put that funding. Okay. What well, would be a would be a different line? Would we have to, to mark your market as a separate line, Barbara? Probably. Okay. Do you remember what was done in the past? This was not that long ago when the selectmen did this. Uh, did uh, refresh my memory? Did what? They were. Um, it was. It was definitely uh, under Bruce Adams's administration. They had a pot of money where they decided they wanted to to look at different salaries. And they didn't want to make the decision during the budget process, so they waited until after the budget process. And I think it might have been tied to the management review, but I can't remember exactly. I would have to look back, but I don't believe that there was ever any pot of money anywhere that they drew down from. They would have had to budget it in the lines that they expected it to go to. Mm -hmm. I would have to look back, but I don't remember any pot of money. So maybe it's so, late. It's further back than. So Barbara, what we're talking about here has this been done before? No. Okay. Not under you. Not under you. Well, there have been raises given mid-year, but but not. Um, they were unbudgeted. 
Okay. And so they didn't come from anywhere. The budget transfers had to be facilitated later in the year to cover them. I think this is really far. I think I'm remembering back when uh, early in Bruce's term. Well, I was here then because I started in 2009 under Ruth. Yes, I remember they did this though. Maybe they did. Maybe they did that. Or, um, no, there was definitely a certain amount of money that they had. Okay. I believe the pot of money was for the um, management review. Now that was a set amount. They knew how much that was going to be. Not initially, they didn't. So they they allotted money for the management review to hire the person and also to deal with salary adjustments. Yeah, but no salary adjustments were ever done out of that pot of money. They were, they been, to my knowledge, I agree with Barbara. They were done the budget time. Sure, you can, like, tell. Yeah, and, and I agree also. I've been here 15 years and it hasn't happened in those 15 years that I've, I've been here 30 years and it hasn't happened in those 30 years. Maybe they talked about it and they never did it. Okay. I think they talked about it and did not do it. Okay. Thanks, Deb. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with that as well. I think they the whole thing was, you know what, if we need the money bad enough, we'll find it. And I think that's what they ended up doing. So there wasn't anything that was put aside. But there's no reason we could not put some money aside, Barbara, correct? You still here, Barbara? I am, sorry. I'm not sure where you would put it. Well. You could create a line item, but then where are you going to put it under? Whose department? The selectman's office? Yeah, it would be under the board of selectmen. Ma'am. I mean, you would have to do a separate line item or you could put it in, well, not the selectman's discretionary, but I don't know. So you, I heard you earlier discussing the, what the 3% looks like, what, what does that mean? So 3% very quickly is about $26,000. Thank you. But the contract for the DPW, they have a set rate. So it doesn't matter what you give everybody else, their rate is still the set rate for whatever's in their contract. Right. Yep. Correct. Thank you. Yep. That's true. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So do we want to continue with something that's brand new? I'm not afraid of it. Yeah, so you're not afraid of it? <laughs> you afraid of it? I mean, it is going to put pressure on us because it, it will, yeah, it but will that, definitely put pressure on us. It's, this is not easy. But this is, yeah, and, and, and I don't know if we'll ever actually fix the whole issue overall, but at least it'll give us some time and, and an ability as necessary to make an adjustment, right? As we, you know, get more of the understanding of what each department does, what each department feels that they've been doing, give them a chance to actually, again, do a performance objective. And then we can uh, have some kind of an objective review, not subjective to whatever, you know. Uh, it's, it's minimal, but I think it's something we can, we can do. Mm -hmm. we're, 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 we're all, we've all been around a little bit. We've seen things happen. Maybe too much, I don't know. But I know it's different. It's a different approach, and, and uh, you know, we'll have to see what the Board of Finance thinks of it, but but I think it's a fairly, it's a, I think it's a fair approach to trying to. I think this is totally people. our bailiwick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I exactly. really oh. think this is our bailiwick. I agree. This, I agree. this is. But it has to be. We, we may yeah. have to make that decision with the departments, but, but, um, yeah. yeah. Are you okay. Are you okay. No, I'm, just, I'm thinking. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm thinking about everything. I'm thinking okay. about the entire budget. I'm thinking about where this goes. I'm thinking about what's coming down the pipe here with other issues. Um, it would give us time. It would give us some flexibility. You said an objective. I mean, and, and we'll have to. It would give us an objective. We'd have to come back with, and then we could come back with with, with criteria uh, for and so on that is equitable in, in the sense for everybody to be able to sit, tell their story, get their objectives out, and then uh, a, a timeline for us to, to meet to, to actually 
you know, talk to the people, get you know, and work it through, and then as necessary, make a re reassignment, if you will, a re reassessment of the salary based with that with that amount of money we have, the fifteen thousand. And would we do this for everybody, like all assistants and everybody? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, we have to look at everything. So assistants yeah. have been here for a while, and, and others are new, but yeah, yeah, I think it would be everybody at that point, yeah. outside of the union guys, of course. Yeah, I mean, it may not be a, maybe a minimal amount, maybe no, no change at all to some. But yeah, I don't think we, I mean, I think within the departments itself, again, if you have, or have an assistant in your department, you should be able to talk about how well that assistant is doing. You know, and that's part of what you have to do. You have to evaluate that individual. You have to make sure that that individual is growing in their job and, and performing to your standard as department and then move from there. Um, okay. That's kind of what we have to do everywhere else we got. So if we have this pot of money at some point over the course of the year, mm -hmm. We will ask. We will ask certain people. Would you like to apply for this? Would you like to? Mm -hmm. And we are going to look at longevity. Yeah. We're going to look at job performance. Job performance. Give every time again to update job descriptions. Just, just update job, job descriptions. Job. You know. Again, job performance, longevity, and, and that job performance has objectives. Here's where I. You know. Mm -hmm. Here's my job description. Here's what I want you to do. Here's where I'm going to do things that are outside of what. We have in the past that this is our standard for our our, our budget and uh, and what we have now the three percent. Here's where we're going to do different, and it could be anything. It could be imagined. It could be something totally different. It could be just taking on more. I, I don't know. Each department would have to say, "Here's where I'm going to be something different. Here's where I'm going to show what I can do, you know, and do more, or I've done more, and 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 all that." Plus, I think longevity again is a piece to that. So the, the folks that have been here a while. You know, will be looked at, and and, and, and everything we looked at is, is how well they're doing. I mean, if I'm saying anybody's in that, it's an example only, but someone's saying, I'm good, I've been here for a while, I can just do it in my sleep, you put my time in and go. Well, great, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And you get your 3% and, and fine. As long as you're hitting our good performance, no one's complaining about your job, you're you're pleasant to the people that you work for your town. Okay, great. That's your, you know, that's how you want to do it. That's no problem. Um, but there's all people, there's lots of people that do a little bit more than that. And I think most everybody in our town does. I think it's always been, that's why I'm proud of this town. And what I like when I walk around every day, it's, you know, I see people are, uh, are doing great things. And I think our town should know that. But to say, okay, everybody's doing great, then how do we really, you know, you know, award that and, and how to move that one? We have to get a little more exact. I think this could be very positive. I do think the departments have to be willing to talk about, in, in not just the department heads, they need to be willing to talk about their assistants. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, and how are they dividing up the work and that kind of thing. So we have a better understanding of, you know, who has responsibility for what. Because yeah. I don't I don't know that. Right, yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it, you, know, you see people doing all kinds of things and, and how that works out. Okay. So we we disperse these funds. Let's just say, for example, we don't disperse all of it, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Where would that go? What, what would happen to that? Yeah, one fund unspent budget money. Yeah. Yeah, just to the general so Yeah. Then this would be, I mean, really, we're looking at a one-time deal at this point. And then we can start evaluating, I would hope anyway. Uh, if you could, yeah, as we went along, you know, every year. So you have to set up some kind of a structure. Right. Because it would have to be, it would have to be done before the budget exactly. process yeah, starts. Right. But again, if you if you have performance objectives, you can revisit those any time. And we could do that over the course of years. Meet with people, mm -hmm. how you doing? And then for ourselves, get a chance to understand and see, here's a new initiative or here's something we're doing differently or, or we're pretty well settled. So, you know, we're, we're good here or whatever. We have a new new assistant, and you know, training this person. Yeah, you know, we should probably do it for ourselves too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. By example, <laughs> no, that's that's not a bad idea. So this would be from the board of selectmen budget, mm -hmm. and last year was two hundred twenty one thousand six eleven. And this year is proposing 200, 577. But not everything's been updated, right? Right. There's still there's, some holes. There's still, yeah, there's, there's some holes. Holes. I'm just looking at the borders. So this, this line will go there, we think. 
Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we'd go in there. Go that way we could we could allocate that out. You see, without having to go back to. And so far, our total budget, is, at least relative to this, is is negative nine point yeah four nine. Okay. Okay. Relative. Ten thousand or fifteen. I think fifteen is a good amount to look at. Again, it just gives us a. If we're looking at. Uh, but twenty six thousand is how much we're spending across the board in three percent. Oh yeah. So, I don't know. Fifteen seems high to me. Well, <laughs> let's put the difference. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. Seven times. No, 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 that's the difference. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, 12, I'm going to give it 12, okay. yeah. right. 12,500. Okay. Seven, make a motion. Yeah, we should make a motion. Yeah, motion. Probably should make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're looking for a motion uh, for a, a standard across the board 3% this year uh, with a proviso that we will put a, another line in the select board selectman's budget for 12500 for the reassignment of um, potential changes to salary levels after we have a, a, an objective review of performance objectives and longevity and uh you know kind of losing myself here but um all right so let's do it this way we can uh, let's put a uh, a, no, um, <laughs> a motion for three percent across the board with a uh a line edge in the uh selectman's budget for twelve thousand five hundred for salary review uh, to be done um, in the first four months of uh, the budget I'm going to say salary and performance. Salary yeah, performance, yeah. We yeah. Can, yeah, but the salary, yeah. Okay. We do salary and performance. All right. That, that, that's a motion. We're good. Yeah, I will second that. Okay. All right. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. It's tough. Good. Mm -hmm. good. Well done, guys. I mean, I think so. Okay. Um, that was our. our this is for today. Enough for Brian right now. And I do apologize. Work that you know, I had to brain this morning. Um, I, I do think what Donna said is important that we invite people to come oh. and talk to us for people that we think we need. At this to point, talk. yeah. Yeah. I also think it would be good for us to give questions to them ahead of time so they can come to us prepared. Because um, I think. You know, okay. I think we have to talk to the registrars because we just, I think we have to understand it better. Yeah, we have to talk I think to the registrars. Yeah, right. yeah. We need to talk to social services because I think we need to understand what's happening in her department. Yeah. And so, so, yeah, so I think the agenda should be the budget and then under that, which departments? Oh, I agree. The whole so, yeah, everybody knows well in advance. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, then um, do we want to work on my questions right now? Yeah, yeah, I have started some. Um, also, Park and Rec wants to come, but they are not ready for okay. Monday. <laughs> no, 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 no. Our next meeting is We've got some more stuff. Yeah. Next meeting is Monday. It's Monday. It's 3 30. 3 30 Monday. Okay. So, what kind of questions did you have? Mm -hmm. A lot for social services. Okay. Um, uh, uh, how, how about if I start with the registrars? Um, and to be, I, I did actually talk to Therese today because um, she wanted to make sure I didn't have any questions. And I was like, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. um, so how many hours are the registrars working annually? To, so I just so we have a baseline, you know, because I don't know what this means for them, the, the changes in voting. Um, how many hours do the deputies work? Um, how many people are required to staff the early voting? If I understand what Trees told me today, it's four. But, um, mm -hmm. And then how many people are required to staff an election? Um, the primary? The, um, I think that, all that might be helpful mm -hmm. to understand. And then how, how, how much is the general election total cost? So we have an idea of that. And, um, 
And what would be needed to use the Kent Community House as a polling place? <laughs> For early voting, you mean? Well, For example. No, I mean, I, I don't really, I mean, I know the early voting that's going to happen, they're going to try to do it in, the, in their office on the second floor. So it's yeah. a good sort of chance to try it out and see how it is. Crazy. You can use the, uh, that uh, other comments from up there as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and using that, so yeah, putting it back in front. But I mean, it, I just think it, it would be interesting to know what if we wanted to use a community house? It, I don't know. What are the pros and cons? What are the costs? She mentioned something to me about having this dedicated internet line. Like you're, in court, you're trying to get it here. Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 So that'll be coming in here soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, I, we'd, have to, we'd have to look at what we can take for that. Yeah. But the community has, for the most part, is not used that often during the day. Right, not during the day. Yeah. Right. Yeah, not during the day. But the time, the time is set to zero hours for the early voting. You know, the other people would be transporting the sheet or just be. So you change back and forth it's really a shift. Anyway, okay, well that's good. All right, that's good. Okay. Community house potential. And how do you want to do this? Do you want to say we are having a meeting on Monday? We are having a meeting on Friday. Which would you like to come to? Because sometimes like Therese right, was right. concerned because she knew she couldn't come today. Right. Like, well, I don't think we're talking no, about no, Yeah, <laughs> I get, well, well, I think, you know, our plan was to, to try to put um, during as, as close as we could do the work day so that people could be here mm -hmm. and have to come back in as much. But although that's that's going to happen, obviously, we're not going to be able to make it every single day. Um, just in our talk on Friday seemed to be a decent day for us to meet. I know it's kind of the end of the, meet, uh, end of the week for a lot of people, but, uh, but it's okay by me anyway. Um, yeah, um, we have to say, I guess I know my, my overly um, it's just vicious, <laughs> yeah, and three meetings might have gone out the window, but that's okay. I kind of figured it'd be going. So, so, of course, our Monday meeting's been warmed, and the agenda's there, and it just says budget. <laughs> so but there's okay. nothing saying that Marty can't reach out to certain departments. Yeah, that's, that's what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing, when most people work on a Monday, there's yeah. a lot of people here in the building. Friday's a little bit different. A lot of them work till noon. Yeah. Um, things like that. But, uh, yeah. And that's exactly what the point. That was today we were going to have, you know, some people who do work on Fridays, like Rick, about public works. Um, um, Barbara and others that we knew wanted to have changes and, and we needed to address all that, but yeah, we didn't need to really look at the criteria. So, so maybe we'll next next week we can Friday we can have a couple courts. Right. Treasurer. Yeah, when's our meeting after the twelfth? That's the it's the sixteenth. So today sixteenth. Sixteenth. So Friday. Okay. And that's four. Yeah. And that's a four o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. maybe the registrar is the work on Monday, so maybe they could join us. Mm. Yeah. Maybe social services. Yeah. The problem there is they're a food bank and then they're over senior center or whatever. They're, they're, I don't see them at all on Friday. Sometimes. But maybe they the can day. come on day. But yeah, if you want to come on day. Do that. Monday have them. Yes. Okay. Um, for social services, you have to see some material. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, so so, some of my questions are about like, like having a better understanding of how the actual department is organized. Mm -hmm. um, how is the workload divided between the director and the assistant? How many hours does the director work? I couldn't remember that. Do you yeah, know? It's 30. It is 30. Thanks, I think remember, I, maybe they've gone up to 35. Yeah. Um, she works a, a bit more here and there, but it's usually done by three, nine to three. And then there's Time that she's at senior center again it depends on uh, if there's an event, uh, a luncheon or something like that. She may work longer, or there's something else on Friday that she has to attend to. Um, but it was pretty much nice. Okay. Um, the, um, Rufus and I actually had a conversation with um, Samantha and Rosemary, and there was a discussion about volunteers. And so, I, one of my questions is how could volunteers assist with covering activities? Um, 
I think that her narrative was written before uh, Jared left. Right. Because I, think I, I, believe, I believe that volunteers covered the park and rec activities in the senior center. I don't think they had to, but that's a question. If, if they right. actually did have to, I, I'm unaware of that. Um, uh, and do the assistant and the director need to be at the same activities? Because <laughs> my observation is they tend to both be there. Yeah. Um, and I was going to ask them about the number of meals each month has been reduced compared to five years ago. They're, the way they've set it up is they're doing one luncheon and Park and Rec is doing another luncheon. And when you look back to where we were pre-COVID, they were doing a lot more meals at the senior center. So the, the seniors, I think some of the seniors would like to see it increased. Um, and, you know, they do take donations. Um, yeah. It'd be interesting to know how much revenue you fill with the senior center activities. I know it's probably very nominal. Um, and uh, there's no reference about senior trips. And I know there's yeah. great interest in senior right. trips. And I know yeah. there's also confusion from the seniors because they don't understand the difference between you know, senior activities that are offered by social services and part and rec. So I think we, the two departments probably need to come up with some kind of, some kind of a distinction there. Um, and, uh, I agree, but I do think like that social services needs to work with Northwest Connecticut Transit to arrange for buses. Yeah, they've got to, it's there. I mean, I've talked to, I have a meeting with the, uh, their director. Week, uh, they billed us for three thousand dollars for trips we never took. And how much? Three thousand. Yeah, their numbers have gone up. If you looked at their. But their Ruth numbers. told me that that there was also a grant that the town of Kent never applied Correct. for. Correct, and that's what we're talking about. That because we, um, yeah, there was something somewhere we, we didn't get in with them on the on the grant last year or the year before. I think it was two years, and uh, so I talked to Brian and. Uh, that's what we're going to be discussing Wednesday morning. Cool. So, and then, and then his, his request is well, 12 to help you out at 12 to 5. So, we don't talk about that. But yes, it's true, it's important. And then the other one that's it's possibly school bus too, where they talk about getting there. And the other question I had was um, could the bus be arranged to go to New Milford for doctor's appointments one week, one day a week? Um, Transportation is a big issue for seniors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. They, they usually, I they used to see them. I think Mondays and Wednesdays occasionally at, at the um, uh, morning star. I think it's called morning star. So, yeah. um, and that's the only time I ever saw the bus around. I don't know if they request again. It's been for it, and that's all we have to do. We put the request in. Then there's special trips, yeah. which are more of the recreational yeah. thing, which yeah. is important too. That they can do that, but you know, so that was, yeah. Um, and the other question I had was um, elderly nutrition program. There's a there's a thing. Is that just meals on wheels? That was my question. You know that? Um, no. And, and, so that would be a question. Yes, it's just meals on wheels. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Barbara. Notes for the both of those for those on Monday. Um, I also have questions about the town buildings. The mate, what's the difference between the maintenance and repair? Yeah, yeah. We'll have we'll have that discussion. And then, yeah. I think uh, we think we need more narrative on that choice of like what maintenance and repair work has been accomplished. Like this year, and she anticipates for the remainder of the year. And what's she thinking about the next mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she's been talking about that. Yeah, but we need to have it in writing. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think land use did a phenomenal job with their extensive narrative. Um, but I had a few questions for them, like how has the online permitting software changed their workflows and employee time? So far, I know it's really new. 
Um, but it would be nice to if they have any kind of feeling for that or data. Yeah. And has there been an increase in office visits? And does it allow less interruptions for completing work in the right now? That's good. And the only other one I sort of had a question about was the Conservation Commission. I know their budget is tiny, but they also haven't spent a lot of money. So is there any mapping plans for this year, any new initiatives? Mm -hmm. That was sweet, aren't they? Yeah. The same goes for uh, the Department of uh, Rights and Services. So we're talking to the department and them department, the emergency services guys tomorrow morning to go over that. It's kind of uh, you're just gonna meet with them. I'm just yeah, having lunch with them, uh, breakfast with these two guys. We've got to talk about their training, they've got some initiatives. And so I took their budget and sent them back and said, Hey guys, you need more, you need narrative, you know, that so then we'll get more information back when they come in for us. So um, they, they have they have issued, you know, um. The money that they put in uh, didn't explain what they're using it for, LOEP, things like that. That's the long range uh, uh, emergency planning thing that we've missed. We haven't was, done it since. Was the, the budget narrative done by um, Eric? Or was it was done partly by Eric and then partly by Brian because he took okay. over and he was able to get some stuff in. He just took over what kind of Eric had. But there, there's a lot of money left in the budget. This part, what I'm talking to him about, there's a lot left this year. They can get more done this year with what they have. Right. I think we can make the adjustment to next year. So there's there's some things that I and then that gets to the fire department about allowing them to get in and, and you know because they haven't really used that ability of that much over there. Yeah, uh, that's Eric, what I heard that. from the fire chief is right. that he hasn't seen it being used at all. Right, right. And I think that's the change. We're going to change that. So, so emergency management was twelve thousand dollars this year and year to date. One thousand nine fifty five. So there's plenty left. There's plenty left. Yeah. So if you, you know, okay, uh, that's why I want them to get on it. That's why we really do need people be in there and partner yeah. with the base so, of uh, the data. But Brian's, yeah, he just needs, I think, a tune to, to be allowed to to execute some of this stuff. And, you know, kind of. So that's why I said that their input wasn't as as tight as I thought it should be. For what us. is the deputy that you hired? That's um uh, Mike um Donaghy. Mike Donaghy. Yeah. So um, he's good. He'll be there tomorrow. So he, he works part time uh, over at the kids' school on security at night. He likes to the late night hours for sure. So, but yeah, so he's uh, he former police officer. I remember you mentioning that. Yeah. I didn't catch his name. Mike Donaghy. Yep. And the Zanks house on the corner. Oh, okay. In, in, in the in the school. I don't know if you can hear us. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there is there anybody else? I mean, you certainly have yeah. between um, if if uh, if we can have social services, the registrars, and perhaps Joyce on Monday, probably a, a good lineup. We'll get Joyce. You still there? Yes, I am. Okay. You think we could talk to you on Monday? You can talk to me whenever you need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a proposal put out with that as well for Monday. But uh, yeah. dump that on one, yeah, at this point. But okay. we'll talk on Monday, can we talk about it? Doesn't have to be now, but can we talk about the Swift House on Monday? Well, let's talk to the budget here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess the maintenance uh, number has gone down a lot, but we were just there. That's because the, the, um, Architect's money was in there. That's why it went down. That the was architect. a That's what the architect went. Okay, gotcha. I just wrote a big check. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I would just like to, would like to talk about just the Swift House. Uh, it, you know. ah, thank you. Thank you, Joyce. That's right. You're welcome. Have we um have we gotten to set up a time with the architect to meet with him? Um, not since he's come back. I don't think okay. he, um, I haven't heard from him this week. Okay. I don't, Joe, she didn't hear from him either this week, correct? No, I, I will send out something. I have it on my uh, tickler to do on Monday. Just came off That's on some vacation, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can we go from him? So. Okay. I mean, this is about the budget, but can I tell you that I, in the previous meeting, I, I was going to reach out to the state, um, uh, Sh Shippo, and uh, and I got Marina uh, Wisniewski. I think that's her, that's her name. And we just talked about the Swift House. Mm -hmm. and she looked it up and um, and 
so I have information for you to when that comes up. Okay, not now, um, and maybe not even in a budget meeting, but maybe in a regular yeah, meeting. Okay, okay. so uh, so I, I I have an update on, on Swift. So just to say that. Good. Anything else in the budget? Good, good session. Yeah. We have to hang together with certain things. So, so just to reiterate on, on Monday, who, who we're bringing in here again? Social, social service. Social service. Right. Right. Sure. Sure. Um, right. um, Joyce. Joyce. And yeah. That's all I had. And then we'll, uh, we'll leave Rick for Friday. Yeah. Rick will be Friday. Yeah. Anything else for Friday? Are we okay for that? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll we could certainly, um, we could, we could certainly reach out to departments and say yeah. we are meeting them. We we have slots open on Friday yeah. if you'd like to join us. And then we need to try to pick another date. Yeah, we will. Um, yeah. So Mondays at four, Fridays at three. Third, no. Monday's Monday's at three thirty. Three thirty. Fridays at four. Fridays at four. And we may need another date. Oh, we will need another date. Okay. We will need another date. We still haven't heard back from the uh, nursery school. Uh, uh, typically, yeah, I'm talking about too. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we typically, we have to change it. Typically, the nursery school can. We haven't heard much from playing dispatch yet. No, because I don't know. And we we met with the Kent Cemetery Association. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see we need to talk about that we with do. the budget. Yeah, we, do. we do. I think we should do that Monday. Should we? Yeah. I think we should. Yeah. So we have to talk about another line item. Yeah, we're hoping. Um, yeah, we were hoping that Randy. We kept we kept asking Randy if we could develop our attorney yeah, yeah. to get us those answers so we could finalize the order. Those answers. Yeah. I think probably I'll be, uh, maybe do it on Friday. But, but he did get back to us. Um, okay. He didn't have all that because we were material together to mm -hmm. give it to the material so we could bring it to the board and then finalize it. We want to make sure we had all the questions you had and I got a couple extra questions okay. too thrown in there. So, um, yeah. So, so here for today, we can do it Monday, great, but, but Friday, well, we won't be able to do it Monday. Yeah, we can't put it on the okay. yeah, agenda. Okay. Yeah, maybe finalize because we do need to get that done no later than Friday so that we can because we have to do five days. Before we went to a town meeting, and we have some streetscape things to do as well. Uh, Barbara's finished up some stuff that so there's, some, some, there's two so things, things with that. So there's the yeah. ordinance that we have to meet for, and then we have to put a line out of it here. Right. And okay. we can do line on any time. We can do line on any time. Okay. 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 Yes, it's just uh, official. Can we advertise or can we not advertise until, until we get until the ordinance? ordinance? Yeah, that, that's why. But we can, but if we approve the ordinance, we have to wait for the town meeting. But during that 15 days, between when the uh, ordinance is passed and it takes effect, it's a 15 day window. Yeah. That we can uh, we use that to advertise okay. so that we can hire okay. as soon as that 15 days is over. That's where we're, we're counting out the days into March. Mm -hmm. It'll be early March, but I think we'll be able to have that 15 day window to, to, to actually advertise and get it in. Yeah. Get people in and then we'll sit and interview with you. Know, oh, so maybe you guys will yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get vacation the 9th through the 16th. <laughs> Or, my, or, I was, or I'm moving to go to YouTube because uh, my wife would be hiding house. Yeah, see my grandson. Um, okay. Okay. So, okay. Anything else? I think I'm okay for now. Is it time for comments? Um, I'm just making sure we're all done, but yes, if we have anything else, do we have anything else on the budget? Okay. All right. Now we'll open up to your comments from the, uh, from the community. This is Debbie. I have a comment or just a question, actually. Sure. So you're just so I understand you are not giving anyone who is non-union a raise except for the 3%. As of this moment. Yes, correct. Okay. We're going to do across the board. But you understand what we're planning on doing with the 12-5? Yeah. 
I do not understand how that's going to relate to an elected official. You keep saying that the budget is set. Um, that was never part of the elected process. So that's a new thing you're putting in. And that needs to be made clear to candidates. Also, if you're starting a step program, you're going to have to take that off for someone who's newly elected. Um, and we've run into problems with that in the past with elected officials coming in and wanting the salary of the current elected official. So that needs to be clarified quite clearly. I understand. Okay. Debbie, we dis we discussed say you know setting the the elected official salary as it was when elected, but we didn't we didn't change anything. We didn't talk about changing anything. We just talked talked about the concept. But but I know Marty has referred to in the in the I guess it's just the way I'm hearing it. Um, you knew the salary coming in. Well, that's that needs to be established. But we didn't talk about changing to go in that direction. Right, right. Okay, That's a, so I do understand. Okay. Okay, good. I think so. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, hearing none. Thank you very much, Paul. I'll uh, take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Second, in our favor. All right. right. 1719, we will adjourn. Thanks, guys. It's different. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.